Hey guys, welcome back. It sucks outside. It is currently raining. Yeah, we have not even unloaded the trailer. But I did set this out for a porch pickup and then it just keeps raining. I'm trying to keep it as dry as I can. It's a $6 porch pickup for something that we have garbage picked. So, I mean, whatevs. It's not a big deal, but I really am trying my hard. Oh my God, look at all the water in there. I really am trying my hardest to keep this as dry as physically possible. I should probably just dump it, huh? I'm not doing this right. At least it's clean now, huh? Oh man, but yeah, that is out for a $6 porch pickup. Crossing my fingers, she shows up at some point. Oh, and I finally, after weeks, I have figured out who makes these glasses. I found these in the Goodwill bins, I think the last trip maybe. Was it the last trip? I don't remember. But it has taken me this long and this much Google searching to figure out who makes these glasses. I don't know if you can tell on here, but they've got like an iridescence to them. Pressed glass, obviously old. I found five of them in the bins, which is just crazy that they weren't broken. There is some like little tiny nicks to the edges of the outer pattern, which is weird. All of the rims are fine. But, dun dun dun, they are made by Indiana Glass Company, and the pattern is called Colony Park Lane. Just an FYI, in case you guys were curious. So, I am finally getting these listed on eBay and Etsy right now. Grabbing the things that we have sold. We don't have a lot to share today, but we sold one on eBay, we sold one on Etsy, so... Better than nothing, we'll start with the eBay sale because why not? I had these listed for I think $19.99 plus the cost of shipping. Now, I pulled these off of, I believe, a couch when we were garbage picking. I had every intention of reusing them. I had projects in mind, but that never happened. So they either came off of a chair or a couch. I don't remember now. They might have been like a big chunky chair. But uh, yeah, so I decided last year, I think that all these pieces that I'm hoarding, holding on to, I likely am never gonna use. So I did list them on eBay for, like I said, I believe $19.99 plus the cost of shipping. And I ended up getting a $12 offer plus the cost of shipping. There is some scuffs. I decided to take it. I have literally no money into them. I pulled them off of a couch or chair or something while garbage picking. So these are going out $12 plus the cost of shipping. Not too bad there. And then we sold these little dudes over on Etsy. So let me pull that up real quick. Hold please. I do not have any money specifically invested in this set either. I got these in a box lot of stuff that I bought from an auction. And this wasn't even something that I even knew existed in the box lot until I got home and started going through stuff. So literally it was kind of like a freebie. Sold them on Etsy for $10. You can't really see, but there is like a salt and pepper. They're like mid-century modern style. You can kind of see the S on that one. Can you see that? Anywho, they're completely usable. I thought they were cute, but definitely mid-century modern styling. $10 plus the cost of shipping, don't really have any specific money into it. $12 plus the cost of shipping, have zero money into it because we garbage picked them. I, I mean, I guess you could include gas, but I'm not going to. We're going to get this stuff boxed up and ready to go out. And then I think later we are going to go garbage picking. We did get truck and trailer unloaded for later. And in the meantime, I was thinking, I have seen people selling these before, so instead of throwing them in the scrap pile, I told Rich to throw them up on swap for like five bucks a piece just to see what happens. We've got one already pending pickup, so I think from now on we might just throw these up on swap and just... That's more than what we're going to get at the scrapyard, that's for sure. Well, that was fast. One of them is already gone and we have five dollars. Gotta hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm actually doing a favor for a friend real quick uh, that works at the post office, but... Did put this out for a porch pickup, $10. Another thing we garbage picked that has compression. It's like an edger, an old edger. I don't know, 10 bucks, better than what we'll get from the scrapyard, so why not? We're back and the edger is gone. 
And I already see money poking through the mat. Ugh, this mat's so gross. I don't know why he told people to put money under here. And I literally just washed my hands. Gosh darn it. But we have $10. Better than what we would have done at the scrapyard. Trying to figure something out. Our no arms Andy that we got from the squatter house is pending pickup, but we are leaving to go garbage picking and we're supposed to get a pretty, why are you not turning? We are supposed to get a pretty gnarly thunderstorm at some point, possibly, so I have to make sure he is covered and not going to get all funky in the storm. <laughs> so cross your fingers through me while I figure this out. That's just going to have to be sufficient. I just noticed the white drawer things are not here. I have no idea when those got picked up, but there should be money in here, which it looks like there is. Cool. Whole six dollars for something we garbage picked. We're gearing up. Cross your fingers. There's supposed to be a really gnarly thunderstorm heading this way quickly. Hopefully we do not get stuck in it. Hopefully there are no tornadoes, which is a possibility, I guess. But we're going to go anyway, because what else do we have to do, right? seen this earlier when we drove by. I figured I'd grab it for scrap. And it started. Pile of metal. And actually some of these things are kind of cute. Alright, so we got like an, it's an ab sizer. Not a bun sizer. You kept calling it a bun sizer. No, that one's an ab sizer. Great, now he's calling it a muffin topper. This is cute. Super cute dumping the water out of this and putting it inside so it doesn't get messed up. Alright, so we got shepherd's hooks. Oh, oh, we're caught. Yeah, shepherd's hooks. Also, going in the truck. Definitely gonna grab the lamp. Those are messed up. Hmm, I think I'm gonna leave that too. Just gonna grab the lamp. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to this at all. This is going to be so freaking heavy. And it looks like we are already going to have to move the trailer contents around. So we can fit the stove in. Stove top works. Oven does not. Needs control board. That's alright. It's going to go to the scrapyard and be something else. Had to completely rearrange the trailer. But we do have a uh, computer tower. So that works. We just like skidded to a halt. Kind of hoping that this isn't, yeah, I mean it needs paint, but it's, it's pretty good. I like it. And we've got another snow blower. Definitely, hopefully, no more snow in Michigan. 71 degrees out right now, FYI. Wobbly. Yeah, it looks old. It's very old. Very old. But wobbly. That is such a cute little wheel. Is it a wheelbarrow? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Yeah, grab it. Man, filling up again. Freaking craziness. And then the guy across the street flagged me down because he's got a bike. <laughs> Almost ready for the rope. My goodness. Oh, this guy is looking pretty cute. Nothing weird with the drawer, like the other little table that I had to leave behind on Sunday. But yeah, I like this piece. This piece is coming with us somehow. <laughs> oh, poor guy. He's got to like rearrange everything. It hasn't started raining yet, but it's looking a little uh, ominous over there. Oh yeah, it fits like a glove. Officially our last pile. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get the pinch. The rest of the stuff I'm not really all that interested in, but Rich did grab two aluminum doors. It is completely dark outside and it is only like eight something, which is crazy. I don't know if you guys can see the clouds, but it is. It is dark up there. Anyways, we are filled to the brim again. Looks like he grabbed a fishing pole. Got this little end table, got the cute metal thing, got a little kid's bike that's actually sellable, I do believe. Um, we got the kid's wheelbarrow thing. This 
right here is the aluminum um, door frame. We have a stainless steel sink. We have this like drawer thing. We have this super cool green bench that is sturdy. It just needs some paint. We need to move that file cabinet over to this side inside the truck. We've got snow blower, that thing. <laughs> it's a motor of some sort. We do have some uh, like wrought iron little shepherd's hooks down here and a trailer full of more scrap. We got the bike, we got the stove, looks like a carpet shampooer, chair, got the uh, computer tower, another snow blower, some kids, uh, or scooter things. Got the ab roller, the direct TV, another weird motor thing here. But yeah, we did pretty swell for being a Tuesday. People were legit flagging us down. It was the weirdest thing ever. Anyway, sorry, I had to ask Rich a question. <laughs> um, we had people flagging us down like, hey, you guys picking up metal? You guys picking up metal? We had to start telling people like, we don't have any more room. We're, we're completely full. There was not, nowhere else to put anything. <laughs> So that was our evening. Thanks for coming along with us. And uh, we're going to call the scrapyard tomorrow. Ooh, I just seen lightning. Big time. Anyway, we're going to call the scrapyard tomorrow. The weather's supposed to be nice. And uh, somebody told us that the scrapyard out here was closed to the public. Like they said they went there and that it was closed to the public. So... I don't know, we might be SOL on going to the scrapyard, but we are going to call tomorrow and find out. We will let you know as soon as we know. See you guys then. Bye!